Hey guys, welcome back. This is another video in a series dealing with WordPress. So if you're building your website with WordPress, these videos are here and designed to help you guys with what to do and how to get around. Um, so remember to watch my other videos. If you're, if you're new to WordPress or maybe you don't know how to build a website, watch my prior videos, especially video number one and video number two. It'll walk you through how to get everything set up. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, working with widgets working with widgets on WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready. Uh, please have a piece of paper and a pen handy so you can make some notes along the way um, and we'll go ahead and get going. So first of all I'm going to head over to where the WordPress uh, hosting plan that I have is up and running and that is over at savebigdomains.com. You'll see it there. And so what I need to do is I'll need to log into my backend admin area to where my WordPress is at. So once I've logged in this is what it's going to look like on the back end. Now, if you're kind of wondering how I got here, remember, watch the prior videos, okay, guys? Um, so we're, we're, we're going to be working with widgets. And widgets are probably one of the top three components of a WordPress website. They give you the ability of quickly dragging and dropping uh, features to a web page so that you can add them quickly. So I'm going to head over here on the left side. And under Appearance, you'll see Widgets is an option. Now keep in mind, this is just kind of a sample website that I put up. Uh, it's basically just being built for uh, the tutorial versions here on uh, the channel so that you guys can learn how to build your own website. So depending upon what template you install, and I have a video on that too, uh, how to install and change your template for your website, um, you will have different widgets, different sections of a web page that you can quickly drag and drop. So on the area there on the left you'll see available widgets so you can just kind of scroll down and these are things that you can quickly drag and drop into sections of your uh, home page or on your other pages within your website and those sections are listed right here on the right side of the page um, some templates will have multiple ones in here you'll have quite a few to choose from other ones will just have a few and on this particular template that I've recently installed this just has a couple okay so what I'm going to do is let's say I want to add a search or actually I got a search box here. Um, let's go take a look at where that search box is. So let me go back to the page here. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to head over to one of the pages. And you'll see here, here's, here's one of the widgets right here, sitting right here. This is a contact form. Um, I've showed you in a prior video how to add a contact form to your website. So if you're interested in that, watch that and I'll show you how to do that. But let's go ahead and say we don't want this search box right here. We want to put something else there. So I'm going to go back into my admin area, my dashboard. And then over under appearances, I'm going to go over to widgets. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit and you'll see here it is right here, the search me. And the title I had was search me and that's what you saw on the previous page. So let's say I don't want this. Well, I can delete it here. Just click delete. Or what I can do is I can just grab it and I can drag it off. off, And now it's disappeared. And now if I go back to the web page, to that particular page, the Contact Us page, you'll see it's missing. So let's go ahead and try adding maybe a calendar. I'm going to go to Widgets, Under Appearance, and here's a bunch of things I can add. So I'm going to add a calendar. Let's say I want to add a calendar to that area. I can place it wherever I want. Let's place it above the opt-in monster test area there. And I'll just call it a calendar. I'll save it. And now let's go take a look at it. And there it is. And now it's above the test section. So that's how you can add widgets. Now, you're probably wondering why if I go to the home page, there's, no, there's nothing here on the, on the right side margin. And that's only because I've chosen to have it that way. I wanted a wide home page so that um, I, it, just, it was more inviting to a visitor to come in. So that's how you add widgets. Remember, when you go into the widgets area, depending upon what template you install, you're going to have plenty of options here uh, on the right side and you'll be able to drag and drop stuff and also one last thing if you want to add text if 
If you want to add something in there, maybe you want to add some HTML, you can grab the text link and then drag it up to the top and then you can add it right in there. And then what you can do is you can paste in your HTML or you can just add plain text. But if you want to copy and paste HTML code, you remember you got to change this up here from visual to text. Just click on it and then you can add in, copy and paste it in there. Click save and then that HTML will be sitting there for you. But I'm going to pull that out right now. And that's how you work with widgets. Uh, please watch my other videos. Look down below this video right now and hit subscribe. And I think that's all I want to talk about right now. Um, watch my other videos. If you're looking for better ranking on the search engines, watch some of my prior videos. I've given you guys some examples of things you can do to improve your ranking within Google, help you guys get uh, closer to first page placement. Um, there's some tools and some systems that you can do, and it's very easy to get it up and running. So please watch that. Also, in my prior videos, I have some ideas and some suggestions on things that you can do to earn more money. So if you're, if you know how to do things on the internet, and as you're starting to learn stuff here with WordPress, there is a way that you can do certain things for other people and you can charge them money. So watch my prior videos and you'll see information on that. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Please leave comments down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye guys.